Hi guys, today I'm going to be making a super moist spice cake um, from Betty Crocker. I usually, he said there's pudding in the mix. Okay, that sounds good. So today, the instructions say you're going to need three eggs, um, a half a cup of butter, I mean of vegetable oil, but we're not going to be using vegetable oil. We're going to be using Crisco, melted Crisco, it's in this cup. We're gonna need a cup of water, a mixing bowl, a bowl, a mixing bowl, and a mixer, and a greased pan. We're going to be using this cooking spray. You, but you don't have to use cooking spray. You can use butter or Crisco or any. You can use vegetable oil, boob on it, <laughs> margarine, anything that is butter related to grease your pan. So. The first thing you need to do is to grease the pan. Just, there we go. Make sure it's nice. It's a nice pan because if it's not, then it's gonna probably still gonna stick. So make sure that's nice and greased. Now it says to preheat the oven, but we have already done that. It's preheating right now. So the next thing you need to do is to grab your mixing bowl. So. It says that you need to add the, let me get this out of here because I don't want this stuff to be on it. You need to put in your oil, your eggs, not really good at cracking eggs. No, please don't give me shells. Yes, success. Oh, no, not success. I still call it a success because I didn't make a mix. Okay. And then you had to add water. And last but not least, the batter. So there's pudding in the mix, so I want to see how this smells. Hopefully, it smells good. I like good smelling batter. I'm not going to eat it though. Because eggs. Eggs bad for you and they're not cooked. Okay, let's see how it smells. It smells like ginger and cinnamon. It smells good. So let's just put that in there. When you smell it, you can estimate or guess what this is going to taste like. There's still a batter in there. Okay. Let's just mix that up. Make sure, usually, I would like to sift it with a fork or something. I don't really have a sifter, but you can sift it with like a fork before you start so you don't have a lot of that, you know, like chunks in it. Okay, now the oven just said it's preheated. So, when we do put this in the oven, it will be nice and preheated. Make sure you beat those eggs because you don't want eggs in it. Make sure you don't get any of those chunks of batter or eggs or anything okay guys so I'm going to be making cupcakes with my cupcake tin but you guys don't have to make cupcakes you can make cake but I chose to make cupcakes because I think cupcakes last longer makes more servings and it doesn't I have better cupcakes tins than I do cake so use the ice cream soup if you have it but you don't have to the ice cream scoop gets the perfect measurement. Do two out of thirds of the ice cream, I mean not ice cream, of the um, cupcake tin if you don't have it. So, so fill the cupcake liner two out of thirds, two thirds of it full. So it can fill up and I'll be back with you guys when I am done. So guys, like I said before, I have extra batter now so I can make more cupcakes instead of just making one cake and I only have like five slices. So now you gotta put this in the oven and put it in the oven at 350 for, 20 to, for 12 to 17 minutes. If you're making cupcakes 12 to 17 minutes, 
but if you are making um <laughs> cake 13 it's 28 to 33 and different settings if you are making different stuff okay guys so i just took the cupcakes out of the oven so let's see this is what they look like they look really good they smell delicious and nothing on the knife alrighty then and that means that they are ready to go i hope you guys enjoy this video like comment and subscribe i hope um i am doing the vita, vita challenge stand vita stands for video every day of april so you guys will be seeing me more often so yeah bye